We have Jesus. Come on, you're coming the wrong way, wee man. Got a wee party of cows for me this morning. Good morning, Holly. There we are, we can. What a bee. That's all already done. Are you bad this? Yeah, we're stuck. Right, good morning. Come on, you bun it on today. Highland cows fed. Getting coos shifted today, so shift these gates and pen off this area and then the coos that are in here are going to end up along the road. See that crack in the wall there? This is exactly how I did it. Just picking up gates, the fork caught on a stone just at the bottom there, didn't really realise and then both the whole wall just jumped to about half a foot and then came back down again, landed in the same gap. It was that way quite a bit, we did push it back and straighten it up, but yeah, that didn't go down that well. Right, plans have changed already. Grab the man cage, grab the chainsaw, bits and bobs, and then head along to yard number two where that tree is. We're going to wipe it out, get it out of the road. Yep. Right, we've loaded up. There's a few other things to do along there. Need to sort out the electric fence, need to cover a bit of a water trough where the ball cock is so the cows don't absolutely wreck it as well as sorting out the tree, I need to feed the bulls as well. Amazing day today, blue skies, not a cloud in sight. I just need to grab a box of screws out of the forklift. These, Kev's tractors, shining in the sun, soon to be a green tractor. Here's the big man, he'll be called into action in not too long a time. Not seen him in a while, dad's been feeding him recently. And Euro. Kev's just getting the basket on here. Taxi. Trees down here. I pointed it out yesterday, so we'll get it out of the road just before it ends up blocking the road. Or worse, hitting someone. Oats are looking well. This tends to be the worst bit of the field as well. Um, down by the wood here, it's quite steep as well. Water runs down there. But we've not had too much water yet. It's better with a spring crop than a winter, really. So that's the issue. So we'll just go whoosh, and get rid of it. <laughs> It's a bit safer. There's a GoPro in that pile that fell off of the cage. Hopefully I'll find it. There it is. Shift out of the way. There's not much in there that's useful for burning. Maybe a couple of wee bits, but it's all shrapnel otherwise. There's the stumps. Still a lot of tree left, but none of it's over the road, so it's a lot safer now. Job done. Now I need to sort out a trough and some electric wire on the fence. There's a water trough just over there. I think it's an old bath or a tiny bath. Just gonna build a wee wooden cover over the top of the ball cock because the cows will just batter it to pieces. Here it is, an old bath. It still works. It's not been used in a while, but works fine. Needs a bit of a pail out, but yeah, we just need to cover this area because the cows will just smash that to pieces. bit rough and ready but it covers the ball up so Let's see how many days till the cows break it should be all right with it it's not a huge perimeter this fence so a solar um electric fence should be fine there you go just opens up there you go ass wire live wire we need to put a stake in the ground actually we've not got an ass yet just got a wee battery mounted inside yoke that up to the earth yoke that up to the live top wire jobs are good and take that take this off and there's a solar panel underneath this there you go so that just keeps the battery charged take that wee plastic connector off and that can go on there yep perfect yep. same again right we originally mounted it here but then the way it folds open it was hitting that bar and you kind of want access to it relatively quickly if you need to. So we're going to extend these boards out a bit and mount it here so it can fold open. Just 
it's not first. Right, that's job done. It does actually have a wee mounting slide at the back. You need use a nail and a big washer and you can mount it onto a post, but anyway, it's done now. So it's not, so the battery's obviously not that charged in it. I'm gonna come along and probe it because I just wanna check it's all working fine. Come along and probe it. It's meant to be six volts. So it's not at that yet because you turn it on and you touch it and I don't shout and swear. So it can't be that bad. I can feel it. It's definitely there pulsing, but it's not bad. But on a day like this, it should be charging, no bother. Also, these dealers don't hang about. John Deere sprayer brochure has been dropped off. Anyone got any experience with John Deere sprayers? Put it down below. Right, I'll get another bail into the pools. They're needing a bail. That'll keep them happy. Hey boy. Euro's a bit of a mean machine. Interesting to see how he gets on outside. Okay, we're set up here to get all the cows out of the shed into the race. Then they'll go along the road to yard two. Fine, yeah, yeah I know it's number. <laughs> That's them all apart from these two escapees. Mm. Right, we've got them all in here now. We're just, there's three head that need replacement tags. We're gonna fish them out and get them in here. The Ling and Angus and one other. separated all the calves off because we're going to trailer them along later. The cows are absolutely howling. They are roaring. That'll get the flatbed off. Get a livestock trailer on now and start shifting coos. Just to save any calves getting squashed or anything like that, we're going to run the cows along first, all the cows, and then do probably two trailer fills of calves. We might get them all in one trailer, but we'll see. Cows won't be too happy about it, but I'd rather that than have a squashed calf. We have got a partition in the trailer, but oh, it's just a bit of a faff. I'd rather just sling them all along the road, then bring the calves along. With a camera. Nice. Imagine without a camera where that would be. Question of the day. What do you call this? That thing. Jumping at the bit to get out. First three into this field. On you go. These are fairly big cows, so didn't want to squeeze four in there. It's saying six volts now, so just have to go for it. Ah, it's more now. It's definitely more than it was, but it's not that strong. What can I compare it to? A nasty flip. Um, but I'll leave it to charge even longer and then come and push my finger against it again. I just touched it over this side. It's a bit stronger here. Don't know why. We have Jesus. Very strong here. Right, it's all live anyway. Someone tell me why. So this bit of fence right here gives you a good big zap. You saw it just there and then go across the gate here to where the box is and if I touch it up here test this out let's hope it's not going to hurt me this time yeah not that bad why why is it fine here I don't, I don't get why anyway as long as they know that it gives them a wee zap and they'll not go near it it only takes them a couple of wee nips and they'll not go near it again load number two so I've got four smaller cows in this one so there's, there's 19 to go, 19 to go along the road. So the first batch was three, so that's 16. So if I get fours from now, I'll be fine. There we go, another four. They're not charging them out because they're missing their calves and they're wondering where they are. Once they get their calves back, they'll be a lot happier. Load number three, another four, and this time we'll get another four the next time. Then we've got a load of three and then the calves. Load number three, come on, there you go. 
There's the other girls over there. There you go. Fuck that mess. See if it's got any stronger. Oh yeah! That's definitely got stronger. Kev's just bringing along the road the creep feeder. Perfect. There you go. That'll keep the calves happy. Coming in hot for load number four. <laughs> Number four with four cows. Also, perfect timing. Just need a drink, so the battery shop. There's some samples needing used up or tasted. I'm a taste tester, I guess. <laughs> Sparkling lemon water, some iced coffee, and some crisps. Free hats and samples. Oh, smash. I can't imagine we'll start stocking this because have a look at it. Guess where it's from? Have a guess. Where do you think that's from? No, you're wrong. It's from Taiwan. So it's not exactly um, a local farm shop delicacy, is it? So we won't be stocking this. I think my brother got all these samples from a trade show he was at. A lot of producers come and show off new products, change of products, uh, seasonal products and whatnot. Um, and what you end up with loads of samples. And quite a lot of local new companies or whatever, they'll send samples into the shop and um, try and get us to stock it and whatnot. Kev's done a swap, he's taken that creep feeder off and put on the dung grape from along here yard too because that dung grape's a lot better and there's a lot of dung at home There we go, another four Crawford Strength Reviews, coffee, meh lemon sparkling water, not bad from the Sumberland that crisps, decent but not too local, made in Spain that explains the, the bull and the guitar Espanol Two, 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 two miles. I don't think it's 2013 though. We've got a single here, still to calf. So there's another three in here that have still to calf as well. So put her in here and then there's three more to go along the road. The yard, three, two. The last load of cows. Oh, is she gonna touch the fence? Touch, didn't touch the top rail. Oh, oh, there you go. She got a wee kick. There you go, you learnt her lesson. They just take one wee kick and then they'll not bother touching that again. A wee nick in the snout and they'll not touch it again. Saves them leaning on it and scratching on it and breaking it. Keeps them off it. No harm done other than a wee whoo, abandon. Right, let's get the calves. Come on in. Up you go. Come on. Come on then, wee man. Come on, wee fella. Up you go. I'm going to squeeze you all in. Get them all in, no worry. Come on. Up you go, up you go. Come on, you're coming the wrong way, wee man. Stay. Sit. Hey, you, no. Oh, I hear you. Come on. Come on. Look at them all in like sardines. On the day we sweated out on the streets of a runaway American dream. And night we ran through mansions of glory and suicide machines Sprung from cages on Highway 9 Chrome wheel fuel injection and stepping out over the line Whoa, baby, this town is a bones from your back It's a death trap, it's a suicide There's all my cows and calves. Some sheep in the field though. There's a gate in this corner, it must be open. I don't know why it's open, but thankfully I saw some sheep before those cows end up across all these neighbors' fields. <laughs> Ooh, a bit of running for me. A bit of cardio. Yes, gate's open. <laughs> that was a close one. Go on sheep, get out of here. Get out of my field. Right, that's that, sorted. They've actually fixed the gate. This didn't hinge up properly before, so they've obviously moved something. I'm not sure what they've moved because they've not added anything to the metal gate. Maybe they just bent that straight or something. But anyway, that gate now works. Just checking this calves okay. It was lying down in the trailer as well. 
What's up here, pal? You alright? Uh, dry snout, alright. Okay, pal. Come on. Oh, that's the most recent born one. This, she's not too old, actually. She's only four or five days old. What's up with you? You alright? Okay. What a mess the trailer's made of you. Huh? She's got an absolute belly full of milk. I think she's just because she's young. She's still sleeping quite a lot, so wants to go for a snooze. I'll keep an eye on her though. What are you looking at? All that's left is this creep feeder. Just going to go and dump it in the middle of the field. Bonk it down here. She's trying to wind up those two calves. Unsuccessfully, they're not phased. Come on, Matt. Just a bit wary about those two. Mm. I'm gonna get my brother to keep an eye on them. He lives up at this yard. I cannot be bothered, but this trailer's desperately needing a wash. So I better wash it. After all those cows went in it and they all went to the toilet. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yep, yeah, this is needing a wash. This is just the second. They set foot in the trailer, floodgates open, every time, without, without fail. You can be moving them a hundred yards, cost a cream and a coffee, and then we'll get that trailer washed. Taking off the new hat, quite like this one, um, to wash out the trailer, a wee Tammy will do. More plasterboarding being done in here, they're starting to frame up toilets in there, I think there's two toilets in there. People have been asking what this is. That side, there's two bays which are extension to stores, toilets, staff room, office, and like, kind of like a meeting room, but not 100% sure what's happening with the rest of that. It's kind of a space which will get used for something, whether it's making up hampers, whether it's a meeting room, whether it's another office, don't know, but space is pretty valuable around here, so it will not get wasted. Right. Done. Not actually that bad. Definitely been a lot worse than that. Smashing. If anyone winds up hose like this, quite thick stuff and it doesn't twist well, it's the right hassle to get it wound really nicely. I figured out how to do it well. Right, I've whacked you down there. The way I realized how to do this, I saw some like army paragliders or whatever they are, whatever you call them, where they jump out of planes and come fleeing down. And they have to wrap up the ropes really quickly. It works on this a way to fold it up quickly and it's not all tangled in the wrong way because it's hydraulic hose that's on that. It's thick and it doesn't like being twisted wrong. So I'll show you how to do it easily. So you lay it all out without any twists on it. Right, now you do this. Get the end of it, full length, twist all the way around to the other side, grab it a full length, grab it a full length, grab it a full length, all the way down to the end. That'll do. Both. Done. There's one wee kink in it, because it was twisted the wrong way, but other than that little kink you can see, that's pretty good. Try and twist it up, like, without doing that. Uh, it took me so long to figure out how to roll up this without making a meal of it and it being so annoying. Most of you probably know how to do that anyway. It took me a while to figure that out. Right, cheers for watching. I've only got 1% um, left on my phone battery. Just gonna tidy up all the stuff and I've done that anyway. So if you can like the video, click the thumbs up. See if we can get 800, 800 likes, come on. Click the thumbs up, go for it. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Cheers, bye.